Hello and welcome to the new Power BI exercise and I am on week 13 now taking another 3-4 days to uh, attempt the next exercise. Alright, so this exercise is about creating a bubble chart with a custom overlay. Alright, so let's go inside this and if you have been following me, you know what we are doing, but if you have landed very first time on my channel, these are the exercises from the workout Wednesday on the Power BI. You even have the Tableau challenges as well, right? And uh, over here, you know, the best part about this is I have blogged a lot about Power BI features and all, but I find it, it's a great way to exercise or practice your skills. And that's why I'm sharing it like as I'm att attempting the exercise, I am sharing it, my insights, as well as wherever necessary, if I need to add something, I add it. Okay, so over here in the week 13, we have the create a bubble chart with a custom overlay. And here, uh, this is the week 13. And this week is inspired from the Tableau Challenge week 11. So if you want to view this, hyperlink is present here. And this hyperlink will going to take us to this basically week 13. So what it has is a similar challenge, right? And uh, there, you know, it's a similar challenge which is being given here. So some somehow similar chart we will going to produce, but not exactly the same as you will see. However, we can actually produce a very similar chart like this, but for about more, uh, in during the exercise okay so i'll just close this for now focusing on here so this basically a dashboard or the final output if i go here this is basically showing you the overlay the custom overlay but if i click anywhere on this you will see that overlay is hidden and this is where i get or you get the chart if you are also doing this and here is a play access which basically play this information as you see it is moving like 1914 1915 so on and so forth okay now the one good part is that if you hover over to any bubble you see that you get some statistics about the country right 1919 mean life expectancy income and population and then what you have is basically Click for more info. If you click here, you get the screenshot, which is about how does income relate to life expectancy. It is nothing but giving you that how you need to interact with chart, like hover over the bubble to see details, right? And here's some commentary, like each bubble is a country. Color shows the region. This is the region, right? East Asia and Pacific, Europe and Central Asia and all size of bubble to show the populations like this is the biggest size probably india or or china maybe as compared to the others right so if i and down there if you again click it the the image is hidden so we will see about all of this configuration how we can do this right and this is what uh, the requirements are so connect to data.world, create a data set which contains four fields, blah, blah. So, okay, either you can right click and click on open a new tab or we can connect directly data.world website on the, uh, directly via the Power BI. So let me open the Power BI. And before that, just a quick information that all of my Power BI tutorial, like you can see Power BI video, video tutorial is present here on this link which is a live google sheet link present in the description right that way you can access all of my these 200 videos where i have some dashboards right dax function or these dashboards the dax function the visualization the good part is that uh, you don't have to search through my entire channel like for example these three people are over here and accessing the sheet. Similarly, if you want to search anything, you can search the sheet and jump to the video on this column P that is present or the link is present in the column P. So searching becomes quite easy. Um, second thing is all of my exercises which I am attempting right now, I am on week 13. So this is something which I will add. All of my exercises, I am keeping it here. And 
I will basically uh, I create my own exercises as well. Probably I will going to create it once I'm done with most all of these exercises so that you get more and more out of my channel in terms of practicing your skills. So make sure you bookmark this so that this information is available very handy to you and whenever you need it you can access it. All right, with that information let me go to the Power BI and here I am in the Power BI. This will be uh, the screen you know you were going to get as your when you open it the Power BI after the splash screen and to get the data from the data.world you need to come here and uh, you need to go to more and from the more we need to search the data.world so the screen is coming data.world right select this click on connect it since I have already connected it you know uh, I have given my login details but it will ask you like what what is your login details so you should have a uh, you know login on the data dot world so who is the owner of data set and what is the data ID these are the two fields which is important so if I come back here select this miss data viz is basically the owner in this case so you can control C and control V data set ID is nothing but this one week over week 2021 week and hour so that way if you are accessing any other data set from the data dot world you can easily do that so we have this information we can click OK once we will click OK uh, it will show us the um, sheet, the data sets the four different data sets one two three four as you can see it is sort of a pivot structure so we'll click on the transform data to transform these tables okay so once we have this so let's start with the first one and we will go one by one so you have the country you have income uh, per person so we have these years so I will just right click and uh, click on unpivot other column that means don't pick this one but rest of the other columns pivot it unpivot it so attribute is nothing but here so I double clicked over there right and maybe I changed it to a whole number and value is nothing but income okay so this is anyway your whole number then you have the life expectancy similar case right so you right click unpivot other column again here and life expectancy then list of countries so geo name four regions and all so I will just change the name because if you see this is all country here country here and even here it is country so just I will be able to create a relationship I'm changing this from name to country okay and this table looks like fine yeah not an issue with this table but if I come here this is again a white structure so we need to unpivot it right click unpivot other column so again here and population population and I'll just change this to whole number uh, I can convert it into a date but that will give us some weird dates I have tried that in one of the other exercises so better is to use the date function I have used it in one of our earlier exercises to convert it into a date all right so we have this I will for now close and apply right and uh, that will going to create us the four tables so we need to wait for a couple of seconds all right everything is done um, I'll just make sure I save it so that my work is uh, is sad. okay so we have week 13 this is what I have been experimenting it with so save overwrite yes because I will going to create the same thing again 
Okay, so first thing first is we need to create a bubble chart. So the bubble chart is present here, which is nothing but the scatter chart. So I'll just create some space here because I will be using the sort of question mark over there, which is to show the details or, or the overlay. So we have this bubble chart and bubble chart is based on the income, right? I think in income is on x axis life expectancy is on the y axis right so this and this and then we have the list of countries right so let's take the countries this is where the country is coming one thing i will just make sure is the data model before doing everything so we have this because this may create unnecessary issues. All right, I think because we changed our country table properly, that's why all of these dimensions are added to, or all of these measures are now added to this dimension table. So we are good. Cool, so I'll just remove, I'll hide this. And uh, so we have this, legend is nothing but the World Bank region, right? So we have East Asia, Pacific, Europe and Central Asia and so on and so forth. Uh, we have the blank, which is this one. So let's hide this. We'll go into the filters in the World Bank region. And by the way, if the filters are not coming, then you can go into the view. Just make sure you click over there. All right. So I will select everything but remove this. Okay. You see how it changes the information. So now we have these and then once we have this, the size is nothing but your population. So we will add this to the size, right? Uh, the play axis is nothing but your ear. So we'll pick ear from anyone, like I'll just pick it from here. Play axis is ear. So the ears are coming. Ear is coming till like 2040, does not make any sense. So because uh, what I'll do is I will just, I don't know if they have kept the forecast probably. So if I want to just keep it like 2021, as it is explained in the, um, I think it's been asked here in this overlay. No, maybe I have seen, um, I've seen the video probably in that, uh, they may have put it like 2021. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. So 2040 is there and uh, I can then use the filter. So we have this filter and for year, just so that you keep it like the current year or the last year or anything which, which you like it. So maybe less than or equal to, we can keep it 2021 and click on apply filter. This should change to 2021. Yep. Maybe I think the forecast is present. All right. So we have this, we have all of this information. Now if you see the tool tip is not coming as it was here. So if I expand it again, tool tip is like a proper tool tip. Switzerland, 1919, 55 and all of that thing. Okay. So we need to create a tool tip for this. So for that, what I'll do is I create another page, give it a name, tooltip. This is a custom tooltip. I have explained in one of my previous video how to create it. So we have this page. We will change this page to, uh, so the name is already I have given tooltip. Uh, allow use as tooltip. Make sure this is enabled. Canvas settings is going to be tooltip. And this is how your tooltip will come. If you want to have a custom, then you can even have it custom. So that way, you can choose what is your custom width and height. All right. So this is where yeah, this is how the tooltip page or default setting looks like. Now, what I'll go do is I will first show the country information using the card, and this is where my country is coming, Afghanistan. And here I will go into the formatting, call out value, reduce it to a 30 and uh, call out label, which is this one. I will hide this. 
two, three. So I get some space. So this becomes my title, and then we have the what do you call multi-row card? Is something what's been shown there? Okay. So what do we need is basically the year. I'll select the year, and I will select the life expectancy. I will going to country is already there. I will going to select the population, population, life expectancy, and income. Come on, yeah. So there it is. You may want to change it. Like a population, if you see, is coming really huge. It's nothing but you create one measure. That something I have explained like so many different times, and divide it by a million number. So you get the population in million. So this is an exercise, a small work homework that I want to give you as to how you will going to convert it into a million. Similar way, income. If you want to convert it, let's say in thousands, right? You can convert it by dividing it, creating a new column like income in thousand and divide by thousand, and uh, that way, you know, the information will be coming properly to you. Uh, however, the life expectancy is not coming properly. so it should not be always some it should be average and i think this should always be also average i don't know average population or this should not be average this should be x i think income will also come for that given year all right um don't surprise who okay let me just keep it like this for now and then we have it this we go to the page select the visualization come over here format the visual general tool tip report page is already selected and select the tool tip so now over here here is coming as you can see 2021 properly what is the average life expectancy in uh, 2021 is this what is the population what is the average income is being the highest right so that is something what we have created up until like uh, what is a uh, you know tool tip uh, or a customized tool tip in this case this is united states and this is what the details are okay so this is present now uh, another thing is that uh, canvas if i go back and uh, show you this if you click it over here you see this sort of an image which is explaining you the chart like hover over to this bubble what does each bubble really mean what does color mean what is the size means right if you click it on this it is hidden so that is something we will going to produce it um to produce that what do we need is basically the image an image is this right united states bubble and i will going to uh, press windows shift and s to create this okay i have the image with me i'll open up the powerpoint the blank presentation you can do it even in the paint as well right or a choice of your application okay so we have this probably we'll I'll just expand that a little bit and then what do we basically need from that is an arrow if i remember it correctly so this arrow shape outline i will just add it like little bit more weight to it uh i will not highlight it way too much yeah this should be good okay and this is where i think what you have is this if i click it over here hover over bubble to see details so if i go to my presentation and add a text box hover over the bubble to see details okay so that's one another thing what i have for you if i go to this call outs right 
so what i will do is again i will create a text box right and use this and we'll say each bubble is a country each bubble is a country and then color shows region color shows oh okay this will be taken see you right now in my case color shows region size of bubble shows population size of bubble shows population okay so we have this right we can format the way we want and then finally what is not shown over here is basically sort of a button which i would expect is you know generally user will not know what to do or where to go so either a go back button or or maybe you know uh, something view dashboard or something so what i'll do is i'll just say go back okay center um shape format and uh, shape fill is that the good one no i don't like it yeah this one is fine and go back right at least somewhere to know where what what do you where do you click to go back rather than being like uh, asking the question or figuring out after making click okay so this is what it is again i will press my window shift and s word okay we have it um i will open up the paint is it save it call it overview that that's what i did earlier right and uh, over here what i'll do is first i will insert a button right and then based on this click i want to show the image so where is my image my image is here okay pictures overview in the style scaling make it fit cool okay and uh, we have this now what we need is some more settings okay and the setting is present available via selection and bookmark these are the two things we need so i'll just hide others so right now everything is shown i will capture this and click on add and i will say rename show image okay and then i will hide the image and add the bookmark rename it hide image right it's very simple close this close this okay now go to the visualization select this enable the action and here action is your bookmark and click on show image so if i my if i click on control and uh, click on this the image is shown right but if i again click it over here nothing will going to happen because uh, i can set one action over here now the next thing is i select this image and even on the image i can set the action if i click here set it bookmark and hide image right now i can click anywhere on the image and it will hide but i have just given a very specific option like go back so if i click over here and click this control click this the image is hidden so control click here control click here control click here or maybe control click here right 
So that is basically what finally is being asked and then you can play around with this axis as well. As you would see, the air is changing, your details are changing. So that's mainly what I wanted to show in this exercise, what I basically attempted and then you know, for me, it took like almost uh, 45 to 50 minutes, but I just thought of making a very concise video, very step by step so that you can, you can easily understand this. So this is a great way for me and I hope for you as well to exercise the uh, skills. And if you, even if you remember this one, uh, basically uh, is, is something which I have shown like show hide pain as well, which is a filter pain that you can show. Uh, but uh, but in today's example, we are playing with the image and making it a dynamic. So that's about it. And now I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.